Now that you know how to revolve, and you know how to make holes, we're going to combine the two to make this next part. So start off by opening a new part file, new sketch, and even though it looks kind of complicated, we're just going to start with a basic rectangle. Uh, along with that, I'm going to draw a diagonal line. and trim away the two parts that I don't need. There's a breakout showing this piece in more detail and it says that this is point one five six. Notice it scales everything up and it comes out point one two five. Then we need to know that the largest diameter on this well, actually, let's draw some stuff in here first. So I'm clicking on two-point rectangle. Okay. Now have something that looks a little more like the shape. Uh, the small diameter on this it says is 2.0625, but we don't want the diameter, we want the radius, so divide that by 2, because we're drawing half the part. The largest diameter on here is 2.1875, and again we want half of that divide that by 2, finish your sketch, revolve, and we're going to use the middle of this as our axis. Now, we're not done. We're going to flip it up so we can see this face, make a new sketch, and put a point right in the middle of it. This symbolizes our drill bit. Go back to hole, and this is another one of those times where there's a reason why we have things like this. We're making a, a counterboard hole, and this is the way that they're annotating it for you. And this is the way you would see it annotated, is that first you have the diameter of the through hole, which is 0.25, and it says it's through, so through all. Then it shows this shape, which means counterbore, and that the diameter of the counterbore is 0.4375, and the depth of the counterbore, that little down arrow means how far it cuts down, is 0.3125. And now you have the upper die. Well, almost the upper die. There's one more thing we're going to put on the back. It's another hole. So right click, make a new sketch. And this one they actually left out of dimension, so we'll have to go back and fix it later. But it shows that there's a hole above this. So we're just going to click a point straight up, select hole, and now we're doing a tapped hole. We know because it says it is uh, 832 UNC. That means metric, which is above all these numbers. 8 is a number 8 hole, and there, 832 UNC. So I know I have the right one. It's a through hole, and it doesn't go through all, it has a specific distance. The distance it goes down is 0.5. Click OK. Now the part is finished. Here's the back side. Here's the front side. 